Hi everybody, it is Bonkai922, pet girl of Sakurazo. Okay, just let anyone know, I was crying this much. I was crying a little in this episode. A real tearjerker. You know what? The real one. Just, just bona fide. Okay. This one was called Graduation Ceremony. Now, this felt like the final episode, but it's not. It's not. Now, based upon... Now, Pantone 12 didn't fail to give me a message, so... He's sucking me. So, based upon what I saw for the next episode, you see two people... Near a, near a, um, you know, near the cherry blossoms, a soccer tree, basically. Um, and from what I understand, those two people, from what I'm looking at, are Mishiro and Sorota. Now, let's get into this episode, because this episode was a real tearjerker. Oh, man. No fucking around. I was crying. I was, like, going through the emotions. Going through the emotions. At the beginning part of the episode, we see Jin, 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 and he's on the, he's talking to somebody, and we find out what that letter was. Remember the letter that he gave the, the student council president, and we didn't know what it was? Well, we find out what it is in this episode. Now, um, basically, beginning part, nothing really happened to watch the beginning part of this episode. All that really happened was we had Rinosuke, Sorota, Nanami, Mashiro, Rita, and they're on their way to the graduation ceremony. Um, and you know they, they we get Jin and uh, Misaki, and they're like flirting. You know he's she's flirting him, and they're on their way to go to the graduation ceremony. Eventually, they get there, Sorota and the gang. Uh, Vernonosuke decides he's going to stay outside. He's not, you know, that emotional shit. Majority of this episode was Misaki Senpai. And basically what happened is she did a speech. Graduation speech. You know, that bit. Um, and... It was a real tearjerker. Like, damn. Now, she was saying about, she was just talking about her experiences at Siro, Siro High and all this other stuff. And that's when she started talking about, um, and they were surprised. They were like, she's doing it? Like, you know, everyone was surprised. And the principal was there, and and he, and it was kind of funny what happened after she said this speech, because like everybody from Zagarasa was having their peace, uh, you know, uh, Sarota and everything. In the beginning, she said about you know her being at school, and then she started talking about Sakurazo. and that's when the teachers were like Durr! they were like this, they're like Durr! what I found funny. It was a real tearjerker, and it was really sad. I was like, oh. emotion on the OP status. Because she basically was saying that no, when she first went to Sakurazo, there was nobody in the rooms, and her dream, her goal, was to get all those rooms filled, and how, you know, their experiences were. And she was crying to some extent. And that's when she started talking directly to the people from Sakurasa. I was crying a little bit. She was saying to Sensei. She was, um, she was even talking to Renosuke. She brought up Renosuke, who was outside. He wasn't in the door. And also, I forgot to mention beforehand, this, this, uh, I'll start, they were giving out these cherry blossom, uh, pins, you know, so and so forth. So, and she's basically talking directly to Nanami, 
and Zeralta and Mashiro. Mashiro, she says, I loved your eyes. She said, that's all she can come up with. And uh, Vernosuke too. And, and it was ridiculous because, you know, Sorata wasn't crying at first, but when Misaki was talking about him and saying, you know, how you you always somebody I can talk to and everything, and, and he just cried like a baby. And it was so emotional. And then she just came out and saying, please help Sakurasa. Please don't take it away from us. Please, please, please. She's just repeating that. And then... And the, the principal's like, you know, tell somebody to go up there and stop her. And, and then that's when um, we, we, something else happens. But I want to bring this up. It comes to the attention. And Jin, 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 he goes right to the principal and says, oh, all this thing about, you know, you know, uh, you should let her speak and everything. And said about the letter. The change in the speech. That was that letter. It was it was to give to the principal to tell him that I that the, the speech was changed. And he never read it or anything. It was fucking ridiculous. And that's when after this whole happened, when they were trying to stop her, Sorota went up there. And he was talking, he was screaming, it's like, oh my god. And one of the teachers grabbed him and put him down. And then Nanami talked and Mashiro talked, and then everybody, the whole fucking auditorium was all up in arms for Sakurasa. And it was such an emotional, emotional moment. Ronosuke then showed up and saying, you can't do anything about it because we have all this for us. All these people, all these students are for Sakurasa. He was basically telling them, like, fuck you, teachers. And... Fuck the system. Yeah. And then there's this interesting part where Sorota's talking to Misaki Senpai and she tells him, you know, it's okay, it's okay, you're gonna greet juniors. And then she's he, and he's like saying, You're not gonna be there though, and stuff, and he's crying like a fucking baby. I'm like, damn! Sorota, grow some balls. Uh, and that's basically what happened. And then after that. You hear this song being played, and they're actually outside. <laughs> but actually, what they also did was they took a vote. And obviously, majority rules, and they got the building saved, more or less. And then they basically are waiting outside, because they got kicked out of the, order to, of the ceremony. It was so funny. And that's when Misaki Senpai and Sorota were screaming. And he, the guy comes and says, hey, Stop screaming, Your Honor. You know, and stuff. It was hilarious. And then that's when they're playing this song and the credits are rolling. And they all gather, they grab each other's hands and they start singing and then they run into the field. And that's where it goes from there to the preview. And it says, episode 24, welcome to Sakurazo, and you see Sorota and Mishiro. And it was, it was a very big outpour in that episode, because everyone was pulling for Sakurazo. Um, the guy who had the crush, and listen, the guy who had the crush on Nanami, I had to burst people's bubbles. I don't know. I think he's going for her. Just say. Just say. Um, and the preview. Listen, the preview, and it was it was an interesting moment. It was an emotional moment. So this was a great episode. I'm definitely giving this a five out of five. The preview tells me one thing. It seems to me the only people that are going to be at Sakurasa. For the new term, is Mashiro and Sorota. Not including the sensei. Chihiro's sensei. Now, that leaves to be seen. It leaves to be seen because, you know, we'll have next week the final episode. Listen. This anime, in very 
when I when I first saw the fall anime lineup, and I saw this show, I was hesitant. Yes, yes, I was hesitant. I said to myself, oh, eh, this is weird. I'm not going to review it. Eh, I'm pushing it to the side. And then I took a look at it, and you know what? I'm going to review this. I said to myself, let me review this. Let me review Pet Girl Sakurazo. It might, I might have second thoughts. And sure enough, I, was, I did have second thoughts on it. Because I don't think I've ever met a female character in anime quite, quite like Mishiro. And I'm dead serious on that point. Because usually she's that kind of archetype where you think, oh yeah, she's the, the one who doesn't talk very long, very outspokenly. And she's very shy. But it was good. There was one thing I should mention about Mashira. Unlike most, she changed. Yeah. If you compare Mashira from episode one to now, oh man, it's like looking at two different people. Um, now, I think it is, and this gets a 5 out of 5, like I said before, but I have a feeling that Nanami is not at Sakurasu anymore. And that's my feeling. That's my feeling, based upon the preview. Because, like I said, the preview shows two people. One who looks like Sarota and one that looks like Mishiro standing in front of the Sakura, uh, 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 Sakura tree. That's what it looks like to me. Now, this is next week, final episode. So we got two final episodes, people. Psychopaths and this. So, yeah. Look, I this, this, listen. I'm placing Sakurasa up there. That that it, 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 it's not the hype of, of Psychopaths, but so Pet Girl Sakurasa has a special place in my heart. Mishiro has a special place in my heart. And I think, even though Nanami is an interesting character to some extent, it's all about Mishiro. At the end of the day, it's all about her. And she deserves to be with Sarota. That's what I believe. And I believe this show, as a whole, is a very, very good slice of life. Anime. As a whole. Because it, it was amazing how each character goes through such turmoil. Such turmoil. Through the series. And I'm like... Wow, this is awesome. It's really crazy when I think about it because it's like, wow, unbelievable. Now, what this episode will entail next week, God knows. But I will be giving an overall anime rating for this series, along with, like I said, episode same with Psychopaths, yeah, yeah, no questions asked. Same with Psychopaths. I'm going to give this a rating as a whole. I'm not going to place it on a list, <laughs> you know, like how Psychopaths said I was going to do that. But I'm definitely going to say this. It is definitely one of the best school life, slice of life, romance comedies I've seen in a while. Because it was very original. It was very original. Going to say right now. Very original. And I adore this show. It has a special place in my heart. Mishiro has a special place in my heart. I really love her character. And she belongs to Sorota. And that's all I got for you guys. And this was an awesome episode. Very emotional. Anyone who doesn't cry during this episode. Shame on you. Shame on you. This was an emotional episode, and it got to me, and I teared a little. So, yeah. This has been Bonkai 922. Give us a 5 out of 5. Next week, final episode, people. 
What can I say? Mashiro for the motherfucking win. Sakurasa's been saved. We will see what next week's Welcome to Sakurasa entails. See you.